What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today we are just hanging out, chatting, doing my makeup, and I, I kind of walk you through this look step by step. It's a very fall green look. I got my coffee with my You've Got Mail mug. I actually keep this mug out all year round because it says Fox books. Fox, you know, get it. It just makes me happy when I see it. But anyways, today is just a very chill, chatty, get ready with me video. We talk about a lot of things and I show you how to get this look right here. It's a very fall look. It reminds me of leaves changing from green to orange and just, mm. so yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe and let's just jump right in. I switched up my setup a little bit. So while I'm talking, let me actually do my makeup. I'm gonna use the Ruffer Hydration Cream. My skin, it's definitely more normal now, but Wyoming was so incredibly dry. That's part of why I'm like breaking out and stuff. My skin just like was repulsed. I've never been to such a dry area before, so that was weird. Um, also, I did not eat the best. It was like hard to do that while camping. So yeah, my skin is just like, not happy but been home now for a week now so hopefully all of it's gonna go back to normal but yeah i switched up my setup a little bit because the tripod that i used to use was my father-in-law's tripod i was borrowing it for a little while well borrowing it since the beginning of youtube um what color do i want to use i just put on a spray tan last night so these are my two like tan shades i kind of want to try this because i haven't i feel like i haven't used it much so yeah i'm gonna use the Too faced born this way foundation in nude where's my brush i forgot to pack my fox 4 brush on my trip and i was very sad so i'm gonna pop this into the brush and apply it okay i applied way too much in there Damn it, well, this is gonna have to go down the neck. Anyways, I have made a mistake. That was way too much product and it's way too light. <sighs> oh well, full coverage it is. So yeah, my father-in-law uh, wanted to use the tripod on the trip and he said I could have it back, but I just haven't gotten it from him yet. But I think I'm actually just gonna keep the one that I have here because it's easy to take down and move around. The other one was just like really, really hefty. So I felt like like to take it down and put it back up was a really big pain. And then my ring light that I had in the middle, it um I turned it on for the first time since I've been since the last time I filmed and it was buzzing and I was like that's new. So, I'm just not a fan of the way that that makes my face look anyways. I feel like it's such a harsh light and it's so funny because when I first started YouTube, it almost felt like you weren't cool or you weren't a real YouTuber unless you had a ring light. So it's just funny how it's just, well, our perceptions, because that's just not true, but also just like how it's changed because it's more about like, just like less is more kind of thing, I feel. So right now I've got my two lights that were normally further away closer together. So hopefully the lighting's okay. I think it's fine. Um, but that ring light, the way that I had my camera set up on it, it made it really wobbly. So if I ever needed to touch something on my camera, I have to sit here and wait because it would wiggle. And now it is so sturdy on this tripod alone, not on the ring light too. So I think this is, it's for the best. I don't think I needed that extra light. And I didn't like having the ring in my eyeball. Um, I feel like that used to be like really cool. It was like something that I wanted because <laughs> all the cool people had ring lights. But now it just, I feel like it looks like crazy to me. I don't know. Now I don't have that. This is actually working out really nicely. Covered up my breakouts really nicely. Bring it down the neck a little bit. And then I've got my beauty blender. I'm just gonna push it in all over. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer. I've got a new one here, but I think it's gonna be too light. Yeah, absolutely too light. So maybe I will try it, but mix it. So I grabbed my Laura Mercier Fall Fusion Concealer in 3.5N, which is never really my shade, but it's a shade that I use to mix in with my lighter concealers. Um, I have a hard time finding a good concealer color for when I put on a spray tan because I feel like they always, they're either too light or too dark. So I'm going to mix these two. This is the new Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer in butter croissant they sent this over last week so i'm gonna dot this in with the darker shade we will see what we have going oh this is a really stiff applicator whoa weird very strange applicator because you cannot get much product out that's very weird and then i'm gonna go in with this just to help blend that out just use my beauty blender damp that in that should work Ooh. 
That is a very illuminating concealer. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I might have to go in with something else. It's um like straight up gloss underneath my eyes. That is strange. Don't like that. Hold on. I'm gonna grab the Catrice Warm Beige Concealer, the True Skin Concealer, because yeah, that looks a little weird. And this is a nice color too. Okay, <laughs> Catrice for the win. Blend that in, okay. Oh my God, it never fails. Every time I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do a sit down chatty, get ready with me video. I start thinking of everything right then and there that I wanna talk about. And then when I sit down, it feels like I've already talked about it. So then I like draw a blank. It's ev like almost every time that is what's happened. Okay, this mixed with that more illuminating is kind of, I don't know, I'm liking that. Before it was just like way too dewy but now it's giving me like a nice mix. I like that. I'm gonna go with just a little bit more just for a little extra coverage. Doot, doot, doot. Okay. Yeah, our trip was great. Um, the drive was really long. It took us three days just to get there, but we did, we actually took a fourth day just to hang out in South Dakota for a day and do all that. But yeah, the drive was mostly <laughs> all through south dakota was just like flat and we didn't have air in the truck so that was an experience going through 90 degrees <laughs> drenched in sweat but um yellowstone was beautiful it was nice to do some exploring with our dog because when we went to alaska she didn't go with us obviously so that was nice i love taking her out in just nature and letting her snoof all the snoofs and just get out and about okay i think i'm fully covered I am, oh man, I meant to grab my nude sticks. I'm just gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer because I don't wanna get up and find that cream bronzer. I wanted to use the nude sticks one, but we're just gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury one because it's sitting here. So I'm gonna use my 157 from Smith. Just stipple that in. But yeah, I was not expecting it to be so dry my skin like my eyes were straight up like burning everyone was feeling it like enough lotion could not do the trick to just like get you feeling hydrated again it was intense and even on the way home i could tell when we switched into like more humidity it just like kept getting more humid the closer to home that we got so i never thought that i would actually like miss humidity <laughs> so that was weird definitely was not expecting that and the jawline the other thing i was not expecting was the smell <laughs> so while it was gorgeous it straight up smelled like ass <laughs> um which i guess was well known i didn't know that i didn't know that the smell of sulfur was going to just be everywhere um and the other thing was it was also like in the water. So the drinking water and everything, we were all tasting it. We ended up making like all of our coffee with bottled water just because like it was like ruining the coffee. We can smell, we can still smell and taste it. And every time we go to the bathroom, it's like in that as well. So yeah, we're all still like <laughs> cleansing from the trip basically because we all still smell and taste sulfur, which is but yeah i think like i don't necessarily know if i'd ever go back it was very kind of felt like a zoo where it was like you drive to a spot get out look at the spot get back in your car and go where i'm definitely more into just like going and exploring just the wild so and i know you can do that there it's just like you almost have to like find those spots and everything was very far away but if you have kids if you don't enjoy hiking as much or walking, this is great. Like, especially for like, if you're older in age and want something more just chill, I can see why a lot of people really love going there. Um, like, especially like with kids and stuff, because it's like, you just drive and get out and look at something. But yeah, I don't know if I'd ever go back. Um, maybe in the winter, I think it'd be cool to see those hot springs like in the winter. But um, I think for the price and the time, and everything i would rather just go back to like alaska or something just because that's that was way more wild and there weren't like rules <laughs> and um, there's a lot more variety where like you could drive 30 minutes and see like a totally different something you know i'm really going crazy with this nose contour 
Let's see if I can blend this out a little bit. But we still really had a great time. Okay, that's good for now. I'll fix it in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go in with some powder, just using the Laura Mercier powder. I really need to set under my eyes because it's pretty darn glowy from that concealer. Okay, here here. I'm so glad you guys were really liking all of the tutorials I put out. I um, I just was feeling really inspired and I wanted to get those out so that come the actual fall season, I could really enjoy it. And then when I feel inspired to create a look, I would um, just like in the future for the season. But it's been like in the past where I get excited for fall looks, but I wait a little bit like for fall and then I feel like I'm trying to hustle to get all of these ideas out for videos because I feel like as soon as it's November 1st even though like the holidays and like Christmas doesn't start until after Thanksgiving even though that's the case just with YouTube and the internet and the way that it works like when you're doing that scared me <laughs> door just rattled um when you're doing that kind of stuff you want to get your stuff out early because then you get inspiration so I've gotten like even other cre like this one other creator was even like it's not even September like what are you doing it's like this is smart to put out stuff early so that you can get the video out to give you guys inspiration um even if it's too early so I'm glad I did it because number one you guys are fall freaks like me as well but number two now there's just gonna be way more content for the season because come November, I just feel like, well, I should be putting out holiday content, even though like I can do whatever, like I know I can put out fall stuff, but it just feels like, okay, it's the time to do more holiday type stuff um, and like Christmas stuff. So um, that's just kind of like how it works with the internet and like promoting and like whatever. So yeah, all that to say, I'm glad that you guys were really liking all of those tutorials. Um, I'm getting tons of just more tutorial requests and a lot of them are like I would love to see it like a cool toned look I'd love to see a warm look and I did all those so if there's something that you want to see just check because I probably already did it but yeah as far as tutorials go like going forward I'm not gonna pump them out as fast as I just was because I really just wanted to get the main videos that I had in my head out there and like the looks and stuff because um, now I want to focus on just more variety which doesn't mean like no tutorials it just means variety of videos so um, there will be tutorials but there will be I don't know, I wanna do some fashion, more vlogs, some home decor, just all of that stuff. You know, I wanna, I wanna sprinkle it all in. So um, really quick, I wanna try this new bronzer that Melt sent, uh, Melt sent over. Um, I don't know what color is gonna work for me. That looks a little too deep for my skin. This one will probably, probably be the one. Also, did you notice <laughs> I lost all of my length in my nails on my trip because it was so, dry my nails just cracked um so and those were my real nails but now they're they're small but i'm actually i'm fine with it i think it's nice to have like a little break um so the color i'm using is santa barbara and i'm just gonna warm up the skin with this nice uh what was i gonna say oh so i really want to step up my game with home decor i love a minimal style i still do but I'm kind of wanting to bring just more coziness um, without going too overboard. And so right now is the perfect time because it's a fall. So why not do it now, make it extra cozy and just like, I don't know. I just want to finally just step it up a notch and like finally get blinds and finally put curtains up and stuff like that just to kind of, I don't know. I feel like that really elevates a space and transforms it and makes it go from like a house to a home kind of thing. So I've just been thinking about that lately and um, ordering some stuff. There's this gallery wall that I've been wanting to do in my living room and I finally bought the shelves for it and I bought three frames from Target so I can figure it out and I'm gonna vlog the whole thing and just kind of bring you guys along with the journey there because, um, not the journey, just bring you along and just show you everything that I'm doing because I love watching that stuff. And I realize like when I'll do things like that, in the past like i forget to just like vlog it or i'll think about it and then i'm like ah, let me just do it really quick and i think oh you guys don't really care but like i love watching that stuff even if it's something that i wouldn't do myself like say it's like a design idea that i'm just not into or 
whatever it is, like I watch people do that stuff anyways because I'm just interested in watching what they're doing. So yeah, I'm excited to just document more and just show all the things. I've talked about my fitness and health journey, which I'm not even gonna talk much about that here because I want that to be separate. I'm so excited. This week was my first week starting my new cardio routine, which I will talk to you about in the series but it just feels good to like move my body again and just have a goal because it's been a while since it's been like a year and a half since i've really like worked on a goal for like fitness um and i really enjoy that so i feel like my body just works really well with cardio and lifting along with it so i have been lifting consistently for a while now and I just, I really want to bring that cardio aspect back in. So yeah, I'll go into all of that in that series, but it's just something that I'm really excited about and I'm excited to share the experience because I looked back to get inspiration from myself. Like, oh, like what was your routine? What were you eating at this time and whatever, just to get inspiration from myself. And I would document it on Instagram stories, but not much on YouTube or whatever. So just excited to do that. And you guys seem really excited too. So <clears throat> after I'm done doing my makeup, Ruben and I are gonna go out to Oak Brook because speaking of like home decor and all that and just kicking it up a notch, we both really want a new rug for our living room. The rug that we have in there was never really meant to be in that space. It was meant for this room. And I wanted something that kind of just blended in with the floor. I didn't want it to like pop or anything. And I never really liked it from like the day we got it. It was like, that's not what I thought it was gonna be. But you know, getting rugs is really hard because number one, they are five bajillion dollars, all of them. Even a cheap rug, I still just think like, they're just so expensive. So, and also it's hard to buy them because most of them are online and you can't really get an idea of what it's going to look like. And I know you can return stuff, but like, can you imagine returning a rug? That's gotta be a, the biggest pain in the ass. So that's something where if I got it and it was wrong, it'd be like, whatever, I'll just deal with it. Because returning something like that, like that to me is just like, I don't want to do that when I know it's probably not that big of a deal, but for me, I, I'm just not interested. <laughs> um, I'm gonna clean up under here as well. Oh, that is intense, but it's okay. I really don't care. I'm fine with my makeup being intense today. It's like a gloomy, rainy, chilly day. So I'm just in the mood for some dramatic makeup. What was I saying? Something about a rug. Oh yeah, so we want something lighter more of like a cream, not creamy, cause like creamy kind of, I think of yellow, but like an off white, very, very light tan, almost jute like, but like, I don't know if that's really the style. I don't really know. Um, but I was gonna get some from, I was gonna get one from Rugs USA or something and then tell myself if it doesn't work out, return it and like make myself do that. But I was looking online and there's this one from Crate and Barrel that's on sale right now and it would be the same price as one from Rugs USA, but you can go in store and look at it. So I figure that's way more of like a confirmation of like it's going to work out. So we're gonna go together and look at this rug and also look at some more home decor type stuff. They also have a parachute store, um, not actual parachutes, but the brand parachute for like bedding and stuff. We, um, I got some new bedding at the beginning of the year and we're both really hot sleepers. We like a lightweight blanket and, and I replaced our old duvet with a new one from Parachute that was like their lightest weight one, like a summer one, but it's still a little warm for us. Even in the winter, it's a little warm. So I also had got a, um, like a linen blanket from them and we both love that. So. We wanna get something maybe like that in a white color and maybe check out the sheets. So that's where I'm headed after this. I also wanna swing into Home Depot and look at the blinds because I'm ready to just take some action and like get rid of these paper blinds. Again, like blinds, it's like kinda like rugs. I ordered some online and one came in and it was the ugliest thing. We put it up and it was like, that's so ugly. We hated it. What is going on with this right here that looks 
insane what are you doing whatever so yeah that's my plan for today and i need to edit the yellowstone vlog it's tuesday and i wanted to have it up yesterday and i haven't even edited it yet my problem is a lot of my footage was just like in the car and as i'm watching all of my clips we were going really fast so you can't even see anything and i'm like Ugh. so i think i'm gonna do like a voiceover and like narrate things possibly well we'll see We'll have to figure it out and get creative because it wasn't um, the footage I was hoping for, but that's okay. Blush. Um, I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Putty Blush. These are some of my favorite blushes. This is in the color Bali. They really like make it impossible to find the color, but this is in the color Bali, and I'm going to stipple it here. It's such a beautiful color. It's so perfect for fall, and it would be a great neutral a great neutral blush for deeper skin tones. Like, okay, I just did something weird. I need to fix that. <laughs> what did I do? I feel like I'm just struggling because I have this big old pimple. And I've missed this highlighter. I did not bring it with me to Yellowstone because I just didn't want it to break anymore. But this is the Pat McGrath highlight highlighter. I know I've used this a lot on camera, but it's just so glorious. So I'm gonna do the nose. And for me, it's been like three weeks since I've used it. So I'm excited. I'm just like not vibing with my face makeup today. I think I look just blotchy, not blended, patchy. It's okay. I don't care that much today. I just kind of felt like just actually doing my makeup because it's been a while. Like, I mean, I did some makeup on the trip, but it was just very quick, like 10 minutes, not even just slap something on just to feel presentable like in pictures and stuff because I knew we were gonna be taking tons of pictures and video and whatever but that like I don't even I just did the same look brought very minimal products and just like threw myself together to me that's not really like the same thing as like really doing your makeup you know so um just feels good to sit down and do something fun okay I'm gonna spray my face with the morphe setting spray I just got a new one mm. Mm -hmm. that melt together while I do the eyes. I know I have a straight up line on my nose, but I will fix that later. Just not right now. Time for my brows. What am I gonna use? I've got this new one from NYX. It's in Cool Ash Brown. It might be a little too light. I hope not. Looks a little light. Oh my gosh, I've had this stray brow hair for weeks. I've been dying to get rid of it. There we go. I literally tweeze my eyebrows like once every six months. I feel like they're so light that the stray ones don't bother me because then they just look really natural. And then I just tint the hairs that I want to be tinted. Okay, let's see how this goes. We messed up, perfect. I feel like these are a little bit too cool, but it's okay. Okay, I just filled them in and then added some brow gel. And now I'm gonna prime with the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. And I don't have my nails, so now I can just use my finger. Very nice. And then I'm gonna be using MAC Shadows today, but I also pulled out another palette just in case because I don't know how many greens I have. I wanna do like a green winged out look. So we shall see. That is on and then I can just set it with a little bit of powder just like this. Okay, so um, this is one of my MAC eyeshadow palettes, which by the way, I did film a swatch video of all of my colors in both of these palettes. The video turned out awful. It was like halfway out of focus and whatever. So I have to rethink how that goes. Um, that's why I was like talking about it in past videos of like my swatch video, but I never posted it. It's cause it sucked. So I have to redo it. Stay tuned. I'll do it in the nearest future. But yes, these are the shades here. And I want to use um, like this bottom row, maybe some of this like mustardy shade. But then I also have my Gemini palette because it's just a good go-to and there's great greens. I have already used this this season, but it's just one of my favorite palettes, so I don't care. And it's just very fall. So, um, but I do want to start with the MAC shades just to use them some. So, um, I think I'm going to start with this color, which is What Clout. This one here. And we're just going to start going for it. So, I need my mirror. So I'm gonna do more wingy type of 
shape. Okay, so I have been getting lots of questions about the podcast. Um, and I get it. I started it and stopped, started it and stopped. For me, it is still something I really want to do, something that I've wanted to do for years, and I'm proud of myself for finally starting it, but I have a really hard time doing it alone and I'm also having a hard time finding someone to do it with me. It's a lot of commitment. It's a, it's at least a weekly commitment from somebody. Um, I need help coming up with topics um, just with somebody that's gonna do it with me. Like I need a partner to brainstorm, think of ideas and just kind of like, I need help in that area. Um, I can think of some ideas off the top of my head, but then actually like executing them and talking about them and like coming up with like, whatever it's tricky for me and it's very hard for me to just sit and talk by myself when like i mean i know i'm doing that right now but i'm also like interactive like doing my makeup and talking about products and then like something will come up and i'll talk about it and it's random that's easy for me but sitting down and talking about a topic i just can't do that <laughs> especially when it's like that's like what i'm doing like even a chit chat get ready with me when i sit down to do it I, my mind kind of goes blank and i'm like well, well here let me talk about my products and then i start going so I need a partner. That's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, and to make it fun, like you need somebody to talk to. And I know I could interview people, but that's like a whole separate thing of like reaching out, organizing, coming up with questions. And like, it's another full-time job. So that's kind of like my dilemma with that right now. And that's why I haven't had any podcasts out. Cause I know you guys have been wanting them and asking for them. And especially like around this time of year, because of that, I feel like, because that's when I started it was a year ago. I think you guys are thinking about it even more like, oh yeah, like what happened to your podcast? So I have been talking to my sister about having her come on with me once a week. It was just one conversation that we had. I'm probably blurting stuff out way too soon, so it, nothing might ever happen with that, but we were just kind of talking about it because we have really long conversations all the time and uh, just about like health and wellness and stuff like that. We have a lot of deep talks and we're like, why don't we just like do deep talks just like on the podcast? Thing is, she lives in Alabama, so we'd have to figure that out, which I kind of already did. Like, I hate when I listen to a podcast and someone calls in and you hear like the FaceTime audio. I'm not a fan of that. That's something that I'll like click away if it's not like the best audio. So um, yeah, I figure if she has her own mic and we AirPods it, you know, like we listen to each other through the phone through earphones, but then we're actually separately recording, then one of us can upload our content onto Dropbox, send it to the other person so that they can edit it together. I don't know, things I'm thinking about. Um, absolutely not set in stone whatsoever. It was just an idea. So we're just thinking about it. Amanda and I were also talking about once a month doing a book review part of the podcast. Um, again, we've kind of bounced around ideas, but nothing set in stone. So those are just things that I'm thinking about, but yeah. I appreciate you guys asking me though, because it kind of just like reignites the fire of like, oh yeah, you guys really do like that. You want that. Cause sometimes I think like, well, I know I haven't been posting it, but like maybe people just like don't really care but you guys have been asking. So I love that you guys loved what I did put out. So yeah, by the way, I'm <clears throat> loving what I just put in my eye. This is, these bags are designer from MAC. This is a gorgeous shade. This is one of those shades that like, doesn't really look like much, but then when you pop it in with other colors, it just like brings the whole look to life. Do you see that like yellowy tone we added in there? Yes, love it. So yeah, that's what's going on with the podcast. The other thing too is like, I've found with content, I've talked about this before, but I'm definitely an overthinker and I'm trying not to be that way. I'm trying to just like take action and do because I feel like sometimes I'll talk a lot about my fun ideas, either with you or with friends, with family, so much so that then it feels like I've already done them but I haven't. So it's like, I have all these ideas that I just don't do anything with them. I do hesitate even talking about this because I feel like I'm talking about my ideas and doing it again, but here we are. This is your jacket ready with me, whatever. But I feel like I let people, 
I feel like I let you down because I've talked a lot of talk about things that I want to do and then I get in my head and I don't do them so then I feel awful. Either I need to just stop, well I definitely need to just start going for it more instead of talking about it so much. It's a goal of mine that I am working on right now because I do have a lot of goals and dreams and aspirations and whatever and especially this year when something I was working on fell through it just kind of led me down a negative path and now that I'm kind of coming out of that feeling more like myself I'm just kind of feeling like I'm just a brand new version of me and I'm excited to just see where this brand new me takes me <laughs> Where, where, uh, where God actually takes me, what plans he has for me. Cause I feel like I've tried to over plan everything and it just, it doesn't work out. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know my life, you know? I just used the color Natural Wilderness, another gorgeous shade. I'm just loving it. It's like a green brown. Mm, love it loving these tones. I do not think that I'm gonna need that other palette. I think that this is gonna work just fine. I'm gonna layer this with this like green, green color. This is Mo Money, Mo Problems. Beautiful, beautiful rich green. And pop that in here, which I might need a smaller brush to make it a little bit more popping. There we go. Yes, beautiful. Love, love, love. But yeah, like even just an example of like what I was just talking about, like I had talked about doing that like gallery wall in my living room for since January. Finally, I was like, why do I keep talking about it? Buy the freaking shelves for it, buy the freaking frames. And if someone doesn't work out, just return it, figure it out. So I finally did it, <laughs> they're on their way. So I'm excited. Just I gotta start just taking more action, thinking less, acting more. Big goal for me. Like even vlogs like I'm finally just like doing them like my last couple of vlogs were very spur of the moment It was like let me just vlog my day And I'm so glad I did because I want to get more into the habit of that and just posting stuff Even if it's not like a planned out thing because my thing is I want to plan everything and you guys liked those vlogs Which I'm so happy because they were just so random so spur of the moment I wasn't two of them. I was just like in a horrible mood the one before my Wisconsin trip was like let me just show you how I'm prepping for this. And you guys just really liked it, which I'm really happy because I feel like it needs to be perfect. I need to really bring something to the table. With those, I feel like I'm just not bringing much to the table. But I mean, those are the kind of videos I like are the ones where it's just like someone showing their day. That's literally pretty much all I watch on YouTube other than like decor stuff. But like, I personally do not watch makeup ever. I, I can't tell you the last makeup video that I watched. It's just not really my thing anymore. I enjoy talking about it myself and showing, but like that's just not the kind of content that I consume. But yeah, I, I definitely consume more like just like casual content and people just like living their life. And I don't know. So when I do that though, I feel like I'm not bringing a value, but you guys are telling me otherwise. So thank you for that because you're definitely getting me out of my comfort zone. You're helping me. It feels really good. And like I was watching someone's videos, uh, it was like a vlog and they do uh, vlogmas every year, which I'm not saying I'm doing that. Just hold on, cause that's a lot of commitment. That's a lot of work. But it was like, wow, something, something about it being vlogmas like made it fun because it made it like a thing that you would watch every day. And so I'm like, oh man, I wanna do that. But girl. That's a lot of work. I don't know, just that whole vibe of things. I just love that because it feels just cozy and relatable when other people do that stuff. So that's kind of like the vibe I want to do more of. And so here I go talking about all my plans, <laughs> but I am more about action now. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do the things. So I'll talk a little bit about my fitness stuff, even though I'm gonna do like a whole separate thing for that, but um, haven't done much cardio at all this year. Honestly, since like my wedding, I really focused on my strength and I am the strongest I think I've ever been, which is really, really exciting. I did lose a little bit of strength uh, taking some time off for that trip that I just went on, but it'll come right back. I'm definitely heavier than I wanna be. I have more fat on my body than I want right now, but I am very proud of the progress I've made with my strength. I know I've definitely built a lot of muscle. Now I'm just ready to take it to the next step 
and I want to do some more cardio because I honestly, I feel really good in my, um, like my, I feel like my heart feels really healthy when I'm doing more cardio, just like for my endurance and just, it's really good for you. So um, it's just been a long time since I've really focused on my cardio. I'm starting to do that now. I don't know, I wanna show the results and like show my progress because it's kind of hard to see muscle growth and strength when, when I've got more fat on my body. So now I'm hoping that when I up my cardio, do all that, some of the fat comes off and I can show some of my muscles. I would love to show muscles. That's like always been my goal. I've never been like sculpted and that's definitely a goal of mine. So, and just my um, mindset about it all has been very healthy. Like just no nonsense emotions. I'm not gonna say none because some of that is still in there. And I think that will be like an ongoing thing of, you know, I think we're all our own worst critics, but I think out of just the past couple of years of just like working on my mindset and myself and all of that, I've definitely gotten more just like positive with myself, um, just with like thinking and just the way that I look at myself and talk to myself, I've gotten much better with that. So I'm just really happy and I can look at things as just like matter of fact, like it's not like I'm hating on myself for the way I look or anything like that. It's just like, oh, I'm not really a fan of the way that this looks. Let's change that. And that's just how I'm thinking about my body at the moment. It's, well, I like this, but th I want this to be this way. So let's work on that. And it's not like, <sighs> you piece of shit. You know what I mean? Like sometimes I've gone through phases of that and I'm glad to have worked really hard to get out of that. And sometimes, you know, negative self-talk comes back, but it's just, I think like a ongoing process of getting out of those repeat patterns of thinking. So that's the kind of stuff that I plan on touching on when I'm talking about this stuff in the fitness vlogs that I plan on doing. It's just been on my mind lately. So I figured I would just touch on it here too, but I just, yeah, I'm really passionate about it. I'm excited and I think a lot of people are really getting into health, you know? It's, it's a thing. I think especially since COVID, I think people really kind of took a look at life and was like, okay, let's let's get healthy here. Oh, I'm loving this just like dirty, grungy, greeny, brown look. Ooh, it is a vibe. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm gonna add some of this. This is, I don't know how to pronounce this. I feel like I said this wrong in a video and then I heard someone else say this word and I was like, oh, is that how you say it? And I don't remember what it was, but it's J-O-I-E de Glitz. I don't know if that's joie, joie de Glitz. I feel like that sounds better than what I said the first time. I think I called it joy, <laughs> which that just to me, I feel like that's not what it is. I'm gonna pop this on, I think the center, cause I think I want some like gold action in here as well. Almost like a gold, ooh, that's a vibe. Ma, 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 ma. That is beautiful. A little gold action. I'm gonna go into Amber Lights from MAC. I'm vibing with this look. It's a very fall look. I'm just bringing in that dark green just across to smoke it up a little bit more. I'm gonna go into my face highlighter, highlight the inner corners, and also hit up the brow bone. I think this is what really ties a look together. And then blend, bringing a little on the outer part of the lower lash line, blend. Okay. I think this look would also benefit from Costa Riche from MAC. So just here in the outer part of the lower lash line, not the inner. Make sure it fades and doesn't just like stop weird. I'm also gonna bring this up top into the liner a little bit. And then maybe pick some of that up. Blend into here. Oh yes, yes, yes. Curling my lashes. Going into Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. For lashes, I'm going into the 421s from Ardell, but I completely cut them up and switched like sides. So I put some of front side from one of them to the other and just like really mixed them up just to make them a little bit more winged out rather than more of a rounded shape because this specific style is more of a rounded shape eyelash. You can see it just really goes with the elongated shape of the eyes, the winged out, 
you know? So play with your lashes, cut them up, rearrange them. It's a lot of fun. Um, I also popped on some mascara to the bottom and now we can finish with the lips. I don't actually know. Well, okay, Makeup Forever sent over lip liners and I think these are liquid lipsticks. So I think we're gonna do some of this. So this is pretty, but I kind of want something a little warmer. And then I have some lip pencils from them too. I might mix this with like another neutral that I have just cause this seems a little deep, but I've got full scale rusk. Ooh, these are made in the Czech Republic. So I got that. I'm gonna lightly pop this on my lips. Ooh, pretty. Okay, it's a little orangey. I need to go in with the neutral. So I think I'm just gonna grab Oak from MAC just to blend into here. Cause I still want this to be like nude, but I want more of like a warmer nude. Also, thank you so much for all of the love on, well, all of the recent videos, but especially the, what video was it? I did like a more wearable fall look. Cause in it, I talked about how social media has changed. The algorithms are annoying and whatever. I'm so glad we're all kind of like on the same page and like most of us like don't watch the short form content so much. We like the longer form content or if we do short form, it's like for one specific thing and then we move on. So I just appreciated the conversation and I'm glad that you guys are like right there with me. Um, but I had a couple people comment and say like, oh, like just do you, like don't worry about that stuff. Normally I don't. It's now to the point where the algorithms just like no longer promote your stuff unless you're doing what they want you to do. I've always done it in a way that works for me. I've never tried to like push content in a way where it's like, wait, stop scrolling, blah, 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 blah. Like I never do that kind of stuff. I'm just like, hey, here's what I made, look. Cool. But now if you do it your own way and you're going against the way that they're trying to promote, it becomes almost pointless. <laughs> I don't want to say like pointless, but like sometimes it feels that way because the algorithm will like almost hide your content. So it's like you put in all this work then for only like an eighth of your following to see it. You know what I mean? So that's where the frustration really comes in. I think with a lot of creators, I've seen so many people talking about it. So I'm I'm about done talking about it because I feel like I'm just like, hate this saying, but beating a dead horse, like that's just what it feels like going on and on about like the same thing. So I'm gonna cut it short, but I just, that's kind of why it is frustrating for creators is I guess just, just know that when you see a creator posting just a photo or doing something that isn't being promoted as much, it's intentional and they're choosing that on purpose and going against I guess what's popular and what is gonna make them more money. So when I see someone just like doing that, it's like, wow, like you're really just like, you're doing you. And it's inspiring because hopefully then Instagram will see like people still want photos. Not everybody wants a short form reel on something, you know? All of that to say, I appreciated the conversation. That was fun. I think I'm gonna add Always Natural for Makeup Forever. I just wanna do like a little dot. Nothing too crazy. Ooh, this is nice. Hmm, it's creamy. I thought these were gonna be like dry. I don't know why. Ooh, this smells like something familiar. I put my finger on it. Okay, I think the look is done. I love it. This is very fall, very fall. This just reminds me of like the leaves changing from green to orange. I feel like this whole look is just a vibe. Um, my contour is looking a little crazy. Should I fix it? I kind of just don't care. It is what it is. I just love the mix of the warm and the neutral in the lip. It's like the perfect warm nude, I think, for this look. So yeah, I just really love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. This was a lot of fun, just very relaxed. I'll link everything down below. Um, between the Gemini palette and the MAC shadows that I used, you could honestly just choose either or, but both of them would basically create this look. You, the, I feel like my MAC shadows were like the exact same shades that were in that palette. So yeah, feel free to use whatever you have at home. Get Just get some inspiration and use whatever you don't need to use what I have. So keep that in mind. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I kind of talked you through the eye look step by step. It wasn't really like a full blown tutorial, but um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Everything will be linked down below. Let me know what videos you want to see next from me, not just makeup, just 
everything if you want to see like i can't wait to decorate for fall that is been on my list since i've been home but we've been unpacking doing some work stuff and just it's been kind of a mess so i need to clean this week and get it up because i'm just like dying to like fallify my house so that's coming soon just some more decor and just yeah yeah all the things so thank you for hanging out with me today hope you guys have an awesome day thank you for watching please subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye